Hey guys, I am officially on the other side of Writer's Block. Come join me. Hey guys, if you don't know me, my name is Brittany Wang. I'm an aspiring author of a YA fantasy novel, and today I want to help you get out of your writing rut. All of these tips have helped me push past writer's block in all different stages of my writing, and so here are my top 10 tips for overcoming writer's block. Tip number one, write something else. Some of us are so stuck writing linearly that when we get to a hard place in our story, we get paralyzed. I experienced this about a month or two ago where I was on Instagram and there was this micro story contest going on and I was like, well, I'm stuck writing anything else. Why don't I just do this? And it was just like a hundred words with this little prompt and everything just flowed and I was like, oh my gosh, I can actually write, which got me excited. I loved reading everybody else's versions of that prompt as well. And then believe it or not, I won that contest and it was such a boost that it really got me excited about getting back into my own story. So for this, I would suggest get on Google, Twitter, Instagram, find some writing prompts, find a short contest like I did that'll motivate you to just take a little bit of time to just write something else and I promise you, it will just get your juices flowing in a different way and it will get you writing, which is what we need to do. The other thing you can try is writing something else that has to do with your story but won't necessarily make it into the book. So write something from a different character's perspective, write the backstory of your world or the history, write something that will be less stressful, that you won't be like, oh, I need to make this perfect, and those things might end up influencing what you actually write. You could also just remember not to write linearly and start with the ending or start in the middle or start with just a different section and then that might actually give you some clues into what you need to set up in order to get to that point in your book. It's so important to have a daily writing habit and so if writing linearly from beginning straight through to the end is getting you down, I'd try this tip. Tip number two, read or watch something else. Some of us are writing, 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 but we are not taking any time to really learn from other people who are successful in their storytelling craft. Now, when I say go read a book or watch a movie, I don't mean just go veg out on the couch, but actually be active while you're reading or watching and write down and take notes on things that you're learning, character development, storytelling, writing craft, and then when you go back to writing, ask yourself, how can I apply what I learned? This also keeps you up to date with the industry, what's working, what isn't, what people are really enjoying, and it also helps you make sure that you are not ripping off someone else's story. I can't tell you how many times I've read or watched something and been like, that's my character, that's my idea, ah, I gotta start over. That being said, I recently heard a quote that says, creativity is just forgetting where you got it from. Now while this sounds very cynical, it is honestly almost impossible to come up with something completely new. The best stories are oftentimes someone taking different ideas from different places and putting them together in a really unique way. So go learn something new. And though you don't wanna rip off someone's story, something that they do might inspire you to add a certain twist to your plot or present a solution to a writing problem you've been having. Tip number three, change your location. Now there's something definitely to be said about having a dedicated writing spot that you consistently go to, but if you're consistently going to that space, maybe you need something new. I've definitely experienced times where simply going to a different location helps me get out of that stuck gear and puts me into a whole new mindset. Especially getting outside of my house, there's new colors and sounds and events that can inspire me. And I also can't get distracted by laundry, dishes, and all of those other things at home. And speaking of getting out of the house, tip number four, go live your life. Some of us are so consumed by our writing that we forget to go live real life, to foster real relationships and take chances and go on adventures, not just vicariously through our characters. Alternatively, you can't make your characters and events and descriptions feel real if you haven't experienced any of those things. Make sure you are living and enjoying other parts of life. And if you keep your writer brain on in the back of your head, things will pop up that will help give you inspiration and make you a better 
writer. You can even make errands and chores like even going to the grocery store a writing exercise. Think about how does your character get food or just pay attention to the people around you. Put your characters in the conversations that you're having and ask what would that look like in your story? How would your character respond? As you're driving in the car, look at nature, try describing it in your head, imagine your characters in that setting or imagine what it would look like to walk or travel through the world that you've created. Tip number five, make a list of plot questions and answer them. Everyone has those problem spots or their plot holes that make them feel really stuck and paralyzed. One thing I found really helpful is to identify where I'm really getting stuck and then ask questions that will help me get unstuck. These questions can be ones like, why does my villain want what they want? Why does my character have the personality trait that they have? What are the steps my main character needs to take in order to save the world? If you're looking for more plot twists, I would ask more what if questions. What if the villain is really my main character's father? What if my main character is blind? What if the treasures my characters are searching for is actually cursed? Then try answering those questions in as many ways as you can think of. Usually the first answers that come to your mind you probably don't want to use because they're the ones that a lot of people think of. But as you keep going you'll get more and more unique and creative and usually I find that a few ones down the line I'm like oh this is a great idea and before you know it you're writing again. As I was just talking about having to live real life in the midst of our writing, I just ran out of time to film my other five tips today. So this is going to be a part one, and if you want to see that part two with my other five tips, you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe for that, and of course, more writing advice coming your way soon. For now, I want you to make a plan. Out of these five tips, which one do you think will help you? I want you to let me know down in the comments which one you're gonna try today or later this week, and then and after you try it, I would love for you to come back to this video, comment again, and let me know how it went. If you found this video helpful, I hope you'll give it a like and a share to any other friends you know that are dealing with writer's block, which I'm sure are a lot. And I'm really excited to see you in part two. And when that's up, I will definitely put it in the cards. Hope you guys have a great day and happy writing.